An electric fence energizer can be compared to the cistern on a flushing toilet. It has an inlet pipe, which fills a tank, and a valve controlled by a button or a lever that lets the water flow out in a short rush. Then the valve closes and the cistern slowly fills up again. In a similar way, an electric fence energizer has a power input from the mains power supply or a 12 volt battery. This power is also used to fill a tank. But in this case, it is a capacitor, which is a reservoir for electrical energy. The capacitor is linked to an electrical switch, usually an SCR, which stands for Silicon Controlled Rectifier. An SCR is a rugged and very fast electrical switch which can handle high voltages and large electrical currents. The SCR is controlled by a timing circuit, which tells it when to open. The energy passes from the SCR through some pulse shaping circuitry and finally into an output transformer. This combination of components is designed to produce the best possible pulse shape to travel long distances down electric fence wires. The flow of energy is in from the power source, filling the main storage capacitor, then the timing circuit switches the SCR on, once every one to two seconds. This lets the energy stored in the capacitor out in a rush, sending it through the pulse shaping and output transformer, and out of the electric fence energizer's output terminals, and onto the fence wire. This pulse will travel down the electric fence at around half the speed of light, If an electric fence was just a wire plugged directly into the AC mains, you would have a constant voltage on it. If you were to touch this wire, you would get shocked constantly. You may not be able to let go, it would probably be lethal. The electric fence energizer converts the constant flow of energy into a short, powerful electric pulse that travels down the fence line. In terms of instantaneous power, this pulse is actually stronger than the incoming power. However, the pulse is now a non-lethal electric punch, designed to deter an animal or person from touching the fence. The shock from a well-made electric fence energizer is non-lethal because it's heavily regulated by Australian and international safety standards, which are backed by laws. The standards stipulate the maximum energy in each pulse and the rate of these pulses. The result is that a shock from an electric fence is painful enough to stop any animal from wanting to repeat the experience, but it is safe. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe so you can watch the rest of this series and see our other great videos.